Hi friends! Today we're reading Olivia and the Missing Toy, written and illustrated by Ian Falconer. One day Olivia was riding a camel in Egypt when her mother woke her up. Time to get up, sweetie pie. Remember, you have soccer this morning. Olivia's uniform comes in a really unattractive green. Mommy, can you make me a red soccer shirt just like this one, please? But then you'll look different from everyone else on the team, explained her mother. That's the point. When Olivia came home from practice, her mother was working on the shirt. Is it done yet? She asked. Not yet, said her mother. Olivia waited and waited and waited till she was too exhausted to wait any longer. So she went out to play with the cat. Look, darling, it's all done, said her mother. But something was missing. Wait a second, said Olivia. Where's my toy? Where's my toy? It was right there on the bed. I just put it there. I remember exactly. That's my best toy. I need it now. Somebody took my best toy. Olivia looked everywhere. Under the rug, under the sofa, under the cat. She asked her little brother Ian, what did you do with my toy? She asked her baby brother William, what did you do with my toy? Whooshy gaga. That night, and it was a dark and stormy night, Olivia was practicing her piano when she heard an awful sound. The sound got louder and louder. It was horrible, and it was coming from behind the door. So, of course, Olivia went inside. And that's when she saw it. It was the dog. And he chewed her toy to bits. Mommy, Daddy, Mommy, Daddy, it was Perry, cried Olivia. He took my best toy and chewed it to bits, and now it's wrecked. I'm sorry, sweetie pie, said her mother, but doggies like to chew. And he didn't know it was your toy. My best toy. Don't worry, said Olivia's father. Tomorrow we'll go get you the very best toy in the world. Oh, thank you, Daddy. I love you more than anyone. Still, it was Olivia's best toy, so she fixed it, adding a bow for extra beauty. All better. Only books about cats tonight, Mommy. But even Olivia couldn't stay mad forever.